Hey guys, it's Bobby. I'm here with Johnny. Hi. Hey, when was the last time you think you did a collab? Like two years ago. I don't know. This is the second collab I've ever done like this. The only other one I did was with Shane. Yeah. So this is this is not as good. <laughs> Wait, let me see your teeth. Make mm -hmm. sure you have you have stuff right oh, there. Oh, I do. I want to help you so like everyone doesn't roast you and be like, mm -hmm. "Fuck Bobby." So today I thought we could talk about anxiety because that's something that I know you oh. deal with, something that I deal with. And I think it's something that a lot of YouTubers deal with, and it's something that they don't get to really talk about to their audience that much because they feel like they need to be really positive image for their fan base, and they don't want to well, bring them down. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I know. Like a lot of people like have said that happiness is like more so what people want to see and click on. So mm -hmm. a lot of people try to seem happy, yeah, I guess. definitely. You you put on kind of a face, yeah. no matter what. Totally. If you're making videos, like whenever I go sit down to do a video, I know I I know I know talk differently, my mannerisms are different, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. Like, it's so weird, it just happens. It's just a different world because you're needing to entertain, but you also are trying to be yourself, so it's a weird mix. Mm -hmm. And it's not, you're not really being yourself because you have to be a different you a little bit. Okay. But you're still you. You're still you, but you're not you. So you're saying like whenever you are like a social media face kind of thing? Or... Yeah, like I mean you could be yourself, but it's just like you're still a different version of yourself because you're trying to entertain the camera and whether it's on Instagram too, you're trying to look a certain way or all that stuff. So you're always judging yourself. Your own life and shit. Yeah, and then all the comments are judging you as well. The anxiety that I've felt since the amount of people that watch my channel went yeah. up, it, it, like, it, it's been exponential and I haven't necessarily felt it go down yet. You know what I mean? Like the, the anxiety go down, like the audience came and there was obviously a bunch of crazy shit that happened. Yeah. But then it, like the anxiety is still there for me because I, there are still so many people watching. Yeah. It's, you know what I mean? And I just don't, it, it makes you be so unsure about what you should do with it literally well, and, with your own life. And you're always just like, Oh, I don't need to care, but it's like impossible not to because mm -hmm. you're just going to look at the comments and like they do hurt and they do affect you and the videos do. And I know that sounds like super lame, but <laughs> it's true. I can't shut it off. I've been trying to for like, four years and just keep it going and doing what I want to do but it's mm -hmm. like impossible to just be chill with that oh completely how has that been for you have has there been people who made hate videos oh. on your channel and shit yeah yeah <laughs> a lot yeah <laughs> it's great um I've had my fair share of like hate videos and stuff mm -hmm. like that or like bad moments where people try to like come at you and stuff and mm -hmm. it's scary as shit like where, where it feels like the whole world is against you and stuff and you're just like the punching bag of the day there's really nothing like it, it doesn't never not affect like everything I do I'm like oh how are people gonna take this how are people gonna judge it um, uh, is this where I get exposed? <laughs> like, even yeah. though I didn't do anything, I didn't, but... am I just gonna be exposed? Yeah, because that's just kind of the trend on YouTube now. It's just to expose people. Okay, you could just you look a certain like I could look over there, and everyone will be like, "Why the fuck is he looking over there?" And they can make up a whole theory about what's yeah, over there, exactly. and that maybe it's a script. Yeah, like that. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> YouTube. YouTube. I love it, but it's it's scary. It's amazing. It is really cool, and yeah. I do really love the drop. But it does give you a very paranoid feeling about being seen in public, yeah. and I think it makes people who are antisocial way more antisocial. Once the Shane push came in and everywhere I went, someone would say hi and yeah. would want a picture. I, we literally, I stopped going out of the house. Yeah, every single one of those people have like an opinion somewhat. Whether they like you, whether they think you're all right, whether they don't really know you, mm -hmm. whether they hate you. They, and sometimes people in person will actually say stuff like, oh, I hate you. And it's like, oh, fuck, okay. You said you had one guy that just like pushed you and flipped yeah. you off. Yeah, that was recent. <laughs> he said, fuck you. Oh my God. I think the weird thing with YouTube is when I started, I was like young and I started, I just saw other YouTubers doing it and it just seemed fun. And now it's just such a different culture. Looked at very differently. Like everyone judges content so harshly and they judge people so harshly. And the creators also are like going about things very differently, you know? Like they're presenting themselves so differently than mm -hmm. they used to. Like it used to be just like people would just pick up a camera and just talk about their day and show like little silly things, which is, you know, probably a little dated now. But right. now it feels like everyone's got to impress each other yep. so much. And it's the biggest people now are the ones that are flexing mm -hmm. and entertaining for sure. But it's kind of taking over the platform, I think, a little bit. And everyone wants to see stuff that they don't have and they want to live a different life and they're watching this different life that someone else is living and all this like crazy stuff, $20,000 airplanes and stuff like that. I think Casey definitely changed a lot of vlogging. It became you make a movie now because vlogging didn't used to be that. I vlogging mean, was literally like you would just pick up a camera and just like film yeah. shit that happened in your day and upload that. Yeah, and now <laughs> it's kind of more elaborate. Even mm -hmm. like the people that still film the shit that they used to do every day, it's got so much crazy editing and, and drone so footage is yeah footages <laughs> drone footage is it's becoming more like tv in a way the criticisms of the people making them are starting to become like it's tv show terrible 
terrible, 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 terrible content. Yeah. And it's literally like one person. So you would yeah. not believe how many people that I have met that are YouTubers that are literally, they don't have editors. It's literally just still them yeah. with like a million subscribers. Fucking them. Yeah. There's like people that have production teams and have editors and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. there's a huge amount of YouTubers that are still just doing it themselves and putting so much time into it. How much time just goes into like what you're gonna make and mm -hmm. how much time goes into actually trying to make yourself get up every day and like actually put yourself out there because that's like fucking hard. That's like one of the hardest things for me is to put myself in front of a camera. Really? Yeah, it's so hard. Like it's so difficult. Like some days I'm really feeling it and some days I'm just like, I can't even look at my, I can't look at the internet. Like it makes me go crazy sometimes. Oh my God, like I, I've noticed this year and last year, the biggest thing that people use as a roast and stuff is like if someone's social blade is down, which if you guys don't know, social blade is your I know all about this and your views. And I, I don't, why? Why does anybody care? Like it's just mean. Like it's super mean. It's so mean. Like because that actually hurts. Because if someone's social blade is down, it's probably affecting how much money they're making. It's probably affecting how many people like look at them a certain way. You know, it's just it's not really fun. It's just kind of scary it and sad. Anytime I see another YouTuber's numbers down, it's depressing as shit. Yeah. Because it's like oh fuck, base level they're making something yeah. on YouTube, which makes them a YouTuber. And in that way, you're connect we're connected to all the other YouTubers. Before you got into YouTube and everything, would you say you were as anxious of a person as you are now. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like, really? that's why I went to YouTube. It's yeah. because it was like so many other people that were like me doing it. Now it's kind of a different world. Like, you know, if I was younger now and I would look at YouTubers now, I'd probably think a little differently. But when I was younger, like 12 or 11, the biggest YouTubers were like Smosh, Fred, and Shane Dawson and all those guys. <laughs> and it was such a different culture. Yeah. And now it's like, you know, Logan Paul, KSI, all these other YouTubers. YouTube used to be for like the nerdy, awkward kids. Yeah. And now it's where, where the cool kids hang out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because Which it's, is, it's totally fine. Yeah. I think everyone should hang out together. But there's people that are going to prefer the cool kids over the nerdy <laughs> kids, and there's people that are going to prefer this, and that's great. But it feels like... It's been, like, pushed. I'm not really surprised, but I think it's going more so in the direction of TV, mm -hmm. and I feel like a lot of the people that are watching are going to stop relating to the creator as much. I think so. Yeah, and I think it's already mm -hmm. happening. Okay. That's my favorite thing about YouTube is I'd be able to watch it and I'd be like, oh, this is like a friend because I don't really have friends. <laughs> and especially when I was younger, that was what I did. That was my friendship. I would watch that every single day. I'd watch every single video of people. Yep. And now it kind of feels a little bit like I'm watching a TV show, which is still entertaining, but it's a different feel. Dude. I, I fully relate to that. And that's why I want to do like this kind of thing too. So it's like people getting to see this part of yeah, me as well. Which I think is amazing. That's kind of what I want to do on my channel too. I love like having stuff that's all that and is like more of a skit or just well thought out. But it's also really good to have the videos where you're just talking to people because if you don't have those, then it's just going to be TV. This honestly. is what makes YouTube. YouTube is the communication. Yeah. yeah. And we were just talking about some musicians and stuff. And mm -hmm. the reason why we into certain musicians is because we relate to their personalities, whether yep. it's through an interview or just them. Like that's how I originally posting. got into Manson. That's why I like Marilyn Manson. It's yeah. just because his more interviews so than were unbelievable. Yeah. And I was like, how is that person the one making that music? And it changed like so much of how I perceived other the, artists yeah. and shit. Like and that. this is the part where everyone calls us an emo fuck. <laughs> this is where we get roasted. You have the um, Texas Chainsaw t-shirt. I know, I'm an edge boy, I get it. With Bobby, I was saying how like his content is really well thought out, but it also doesn't show his personality that much. Mm -hmm. You know, there's been a few videos, but there hasn't been that much of like who Bobby actually is. And I think that's why he's kind of been an easy punching bag for a lot of people. It's like, this is the actor. This is like a person that's in the skit. They don't really see it as like, dude, that's living a day-to-day -day life with his girlfriend. And really? I mean, to an extent, yeah, probably. Oh, shit. These type of videos, yeah. when they're a little more raw, mm -hmm. are really nice. I'm not saying do this all the time. Yeah. I'm just saying, like... No, definitely. I mean, and like... This once every six months, <laughs> it might be nice to be able to see, like, just you talking to a camera about something that maybe you're going through or how you're doing. Like, maybe even if it's, like, for one minute, it's just nice. And it, like, adds, like, who you are into it. No, I sound like a douche. Do this, Bobby. No, that's good, dude. No, that's really good advice. And I think that's why I do want to do this show. This is a thing that I've wanted to do for a long yeah. time. I just want to sit down with all of the YouTubers that I've known my whole yeah. life all by watching on YouTube and just like actually pick their brain. Yeah, just yeah. talk to them on camera. And I think that's something that you guys can learn a lot from. Definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know um, what kind of questions you guys want me to ask next time. If we, if we do another one of these together or who else you would like me to talk to. Leave on your here. roast down below. <laughs> Let's get people over to your channel. Johnny Gilbert. The link to that will be down in the description. Thank you so much. I'm scared to see how people react. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can hit me up on Twitter and Instagram at the Bobby Burns. The links to the nasty tape and my merch are down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you later. <laughs> What's your outro? I don't know. I just, I just say, see you later. And kind of.
Oh, and just cuts. He just okay. cuts to it. Trying to fuck with nasty boy, better come strap. Lead a blade at home, black clock, get your toe tag, bag that. Hoes around me screaming, this is so bad. I'm glad, wanna see them pussy bitches face melt. Hanging from a belt, drop kick, leave a fucking well. Cursed up a fat fuck, Teddy Roosevelt. Don't stare close, boy, you look like your Krispy Kreme. Don't stare close, waterfall made of gasoline. Blacked out. Blacked out. Swipe, swipe. Swipe. Blacked out. Blacked out. Swipe, swipe. Swipe.